Fisha on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about the gear that we like to use on my boat when we're trolling for tuna and other big fish. Here we go, making really on, getting icy zone, flexing, mm, I've been serving, make it trendy. So let's take a look at some of the gear that we use for tuna. Uh, we bring out probably about 15 rods and reels. And these are, this is the staple of the gear that we like to bring when we go out tuna fishing. So the first one I'm going to talk about, this is an Avid TRX 80 wide. And as you can see, it is a beast. It has, I believe, 200 pounds of top shot, um, probably 150 yards. And underneath is braid. We have, I believe, 130 pound braid. And there is a lot on here. There's probably about 2,000 yards of braid on this reel. So this is going to get you your big fish. What's great about this particular reel, it has up to 100 pounds of drag. So if you got a monster on there, you can uh, you could crank this thing up to 100 pounds of drag. We actually caught uh, last year a 500 pound hammer and we were able to get that thing into the boat in like uh, 30 minutes or so with this particular reel. This is on a United Composite rod. And as you can see, it's a full roller. Uh, rod and this next rod that we use for trolling. This is an Avid TRX 50 wide similar to this red one uh, This one has also a hundred pounds of drag and this is on a Custom Connolly rod as you can see that uh, This rod has just a Winthrop roller tip the rest are just eyes and a lot of people today they like to use just the eyes today because uh, the braid there's less chance of issues with braid going through these eyes. And the last one I have here, this is just a, a normal Abbott uh, EXW 50 wide. It has up to, I think, 47 or so pounds of drag. And this is, I have four of these uh, regular 50 wides, two of these TRX quads, and this big, we could like to call it Big Red. This is for the monsters who go for sharks, we go for other big fish, we take this one out. This also has, a Winthrop adjustable butt. So you can just push this button and you can make it a bent butt or a straight butt. And the last rod and reel combo I'd like to show you, this is what we like to use for topwater action. This is a Stella 14K uh, reel and it's on a Poseidon Custom. And we try different things, we use different things when we're going for tuna on topwater. This is a, uh, a striker, right? a sea striker floating stick bait. And so this is a, a nice Poseidon rod that I got down in Florida, and we like to use that for topwater action. We also have other rods and reels that we use for jigging, but this is like the staple of our tuna trolling setup. So good luck everyone, and tight lines. So if you liked our video, like and subscribe below, and if you're interested in any of the components that we use to make our, our gear, look in the description, we have links to everything below. Tight lines everyone.